hello and welcome again guys so today i'm going to talk about callback urls i know that these are one of the most confusing issues especially when you begin handling apis so what is callback url now on stack overflow somebody asked that question and i took one of the answers that i think it simply explains what the callback url is and the person says that if you use the callback url then the api can connect to the callback url and send or receive some data that means api can connect to you later after the api call now to explain this basically we have two services here one on your server and another one on the api server where the api is uh, stored or located now uh, the api requires callback url so that uh, when you are requesting some data from the api uh, some data may be taking some time before it is processed so what the api will require of you is to leave the callback url meaning that after processing that it is going to send some data to that uh, url so that is what we are calling a callback url now to explain this here we have this uh, example where i have an uh, url uh, for example it is uh, https uh, some api.com can be any api that you are dealing with and then here we have the callback so can be some website uh, dot com and then this root can this can be a route or it can be some some like maybe let's say a callback dot php or dot any other uh, language are using in the backend to handle that api request so what happens is that this your website uh, my website dot com sends data to some api may be requesting for something or requesting for some data or requesting for processing some data that you sent now what will happen is that maybe in the process of uh, of, uh, of processing that data it may take some time for some api.com to process that data so some api.com will require you to leave what we call the callback url so meaning that after doing whatever is doing that data is going to send that data to that url which are calling the callback url and then you can receive and do something in that data now let me show you now for example the api sends data now my api.com sends data through get method and this is how it sends that data so it sends the data for example action is equals to credit reference id is equals to zero account id game id may be this it can be any other data but maybe in this format and since it is sending using get method this is how uh, my website.com is going to receive the, the data that is the callback url so after this one processing the request from my website.com it is going to send data and if it is using get method this is how this data is going to be sent so it will be my website.com and then here can be the url can be some root or that is the, the callback url that you place so this one is going to be the callback url and then this is how the some data this, that data is going to be action equals to credit you see action equals to credit and the account id this is how this data is going to be sent so what happens that after this my website dot com that is the callback url receives this data is going to extract this data and do something with it you can save that data or you can do some processing or add something and send back to the uh, to the api if that is the case but if the case is just saving this data we just extract this data using get method and then you you save the data in the database so in the next um, in the next uh, session i'll show you maybe how this works on a live example using some apis and some server thank you so much and see you in the next lesson